What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video today. We're going to be showing you a news roundup if you guys haven't logged in and haven't uh, checked the game yet yourselves. So just a quick roundup of what dropped today. So yeah, I mean, obviously the big one is the Chelsea. Well, depending on what you prefer in your eFootball or whatever, um, your big one is the is the Chelsea pack as you're seeing the trailer there uh, for Makalele scoring a penalty uh, put back. And then obviously we've got who let the dog out, Drogba. And we've got Petr checking goals as well. So, yeah, there's three good players. I've done a review on them. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's up to you guys whether you spin or not. I mean, you know, you can or you, you don't have to. It depends because there is good GP alternatives there as well. I have a video coming on that. If it's not out already, it will be out quite soon. But other than that, it's just kind of a, the same uh, as before in terms of releases and stuff at this time uh, on a Thursday. So we do have new player of the weeks as well. I will be doing a review on them. We'll get to them in a second. But starting with the authentic match, we do have a rinse and repeat event here. The European Club Championship. This is against the AI. So this is kind of the only offline event um, that you can play with the proper team. So obviously when you enter this here, you're going to be able to pick whatever team you want. Um, they have the same teams, I think, as last week. So obviously when we pick Real Madrid or whoever you end up picking, all you need to do is aim for one win. So it doesn't matter what difficulty you play it on. Um, you can also change your team here. Well, it's set to regular difficulty. Sorry, lads. Um, but that's going to be very easy for you, for anyone that's been playing the game for quite a bit. And then you do get 30,000 GP uh, when you complete this. And then you get 30,000 for the second tier and 30,000. So you get 100, well, 90,000 GP or 90,000 trainer experience, which is quite decent if you are looking up to train up uh, new players and get a lot of progression points you've obviously got the trial match um, and then moving on to the dream team mode itself you've got the events here the eFootball league is still the same obviously if um, you signed in last week you would have been you know your division would have been there um, but that's just the same thing so I need to start my divisions there as well uh, the rest of the stuff is the same and the events is just rinsed and repeated I mean I think they need to switch it up a bit man I definitely would like to see some new events come back in, you know, maybe an under 2000 team strength cup with no players over 85. I know that they are working on some stuff and I know that they're wanting to release some stuff quite soon, but obviously they're probably trying to get everything right, you know, as they as they continue to work on stuff and, you know, aim for their next big substantial update. So this English League one is obviously the same as the event that releases every single week where you play it, you win it, and then you get your free spin at a player of the week. You also get 60,000 GP, 80,000 GP with the chance deal, 500 e football points, and then you get 100,000 GP when you get to the 7,000 point mark, um, another 1,000 e football points, 20,000 trainers, another 20,000 GP, and another, finally, 10,000 points gets you another 20,000 trainer program. So, I mean, people ask me all the time, how much, how do I get so much GP and how do I get so much um, trainer programs? And this is it. I literally just play these. You don't even need to play this yourself. I mean, I could be just doing a bit of work uh, on one screen and I could be simming this in the background. You know, it's, it's very easy. And obviously all you need to do is win 10 games or play maybe 15 games, depending on whether you win, lose or draw. You're training up your players, you're getting XP, you're getting all the rewards and it's very, very easy. You can do it in the background if you have a bit of time to do it. The J-League AI match then as well is uh, very similar to the one. I think they had this out last week as well. It's a continuation on. Uh, as you can see there, I just need 54 points, one more victory or whatever um, to get the ultimate prize in that. That's obviously the same because that will be ending every Monday um, and repeated every Monday. And then this English League one is your rinse and repeat for your coins. So every week there is going to be an event where you're able to get 50 coins. And this happens four times a month. So along with the login bonus and along with the free or the value match pass, you could potentially get 500 coins every week um, earned. You know what I mean? Obviously, you have to buy the match pass, but it covers you every week for that match pass if you if you don't open packs with the coins. Um, and then moving on to a couple of issues as well. A couple of things there just where they talked about um, the issue regarding player image and appearance, which they talk about here. Now, this is a weird one because they've, they've kind of talked about this for quite a while now, and this has probably been the first or second uh, time they've mentioned it. They've discovered an issue regarding the image and appearance of certain players and have implemented a fix for that during this live update. And then they also talk about this, 
that the file effect is not displayed currently or correctly on the miniature photo of file player cards and then there also still have the issue where the game plan list was reverting back and you weren't able to move anything on the screen or go through the menu um, I haven't never come up against that genuinely I've never actually seen that but a few people probably have hence why they're getting the feedback or maybe they know it themselves and then uh, that's pretty much it for there obviously you've got all your login bonuses and your match pass rewards whatever that was if you need to redeem those don't forget to do that and then last but not least we do have the contracts which are the new players um tottenham ones are obviously there for the last few days but we do have chelsea and a worldwide uh january 19 uh player of the weeks as well these are as far as i know these are re-releases which is yeah it's a bit of a pity you've got rashford there it's a good version of rashford in fairness all these players are on a form gabby absolute quality there as well um if you haven't got the other version of him i think they just need to mix it up man i think they're in a bit of a lull as to like what they're releasing and you know it's just kind of rinse and repeat obviously you've got some good players here but at the end of the day i mean anyone that plays the game for more than two weeks is going to have an epic team because you get free Messi, free mbappe free pretty much everything like a free french team uh when you log in and they are 100 coins you can spin three times and then you've got the chelsea i've done a review on these you've got makalele drogba and czech um fairly decent players obviously drogba um is is probably the kind of the main one there because he's new and shiny and everyone will probably want him same as van nistroy i think he's a good player man i don't think that he's like game changing but depending on your play style like yan collar for me he would probably be an upgrade on yan collar because of his height and because of his ability in the air but at the same time he'd still be able to get the ball in the back of the net by dribbling and stuff even though his stats aren't amazing that way so it just depends on how you actually want to play it depends your play style um you know obviously look everyone is a different way of training up players i always try focus on for a striker and for a goal poacher i always try focus on because i'm a possession based player i need my players to be very tuned in ai wise you know so if the ai is is controlling drogba's runs i need his offensive awareness up very very high i don't need his physical contact up too much i don't need his jumping up too much I don't even need his dribbling or his low passing because I'm expecting the AI to make the runs for me. And then when I play the ball into Drogba, he has very little to do with it, whether it's a tap in, whether it's a shot, whether it's a touch and go or whether it's a header. So depending on your play style, man, there's multiple ways of training up players. So um, yeah, it depends on how you do it and you just need a little bit of research in it. Um, and hopefully I help you out with a couple of videos as well so that is it lads for the weekly roundup again it's 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 not really great in my opinion um but let me know what you guys think i am going to be doing a couple of different types of videos we will be bringing subscriber showdown back as well so let me know if you're enjoying it let me know what you think of this week's offering and we're just kind of in a bit of a lull at the moment it's just players and repeated events now so i think they need to shake it up with the next season three update man like a big big update whether that is co-op whether that is a different type of you know event or whatever it is i do think we definitely need something more and fresh but until next time lads don't forget to subscribe i will talk to you in a bit peace